the Tesla bot might not stick to its $20,000 price tag anymore, and it could even face delays. Elon Musk just confirmed that Optimus has been affected by China's rare earth export restrictions. These materials are crucial for building the Tesla bot's 22 degree of freedom arms. Let's hear what Elon Musk had to say. Optimus was affected by the magnet uh, issue from China um, because the Optimus actuators in the arm do use permanent magnets. Now, te Tesla as a whole does not need to use permanent magnets, but when something is um, volume constrained, like, like an arm um, of the robot, uh, then you want to try to make the motors as small as possible. Um, and then, uh, so we did, did design in permanent magnet permanent magnets for those motors, and those were affected by the uh, supply chain, you know, by, by basically China requiring an export license to send out uh, any rare earth magnets. This is actually a pretty big deal. Just last month, Elon Musk said Tesla could produce at least 5,000 robots this year and start selling them to customers next year. It's clear Tesla is feeling the heat from the trade war. It's not just EVs struggling with tariffs anymore. Even humanoid robots are now heavily dependent on components from China. Let's hear more from Elon Musk. Almost everything in Optimus is new. There's, there's not like an existing supply chain for the motors, gearboxes, electronics, actuators, really anything in the, in the uh, almost anything in the Optimus, uh, apart from the, the AI for Tesla, the Tesla AI computer, uh, which is the same as the one in the car. Honestly, we were pretty surprised when Elon Musk admitted that the Tesla bot doesn't actually have an established supply chain. Not long ago, he sounded super confident that everything needed for the Optimus robot was basically ready. Since Tesla planned to reuse parts from its electric vehicles and adapt them for the humanoid robot. Everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's clear that things have shifted in the plan to produce Optimus, but it's definitely not the end of the road. Elon Musk still says limited production of Optimus will happen this year, although it'll have to wait until the end of the year. What really caught our attention recently was a leaked image of the Optimus assembly line. It showed what appears to be a redesigned Tesla bot. Its head, neck, and shoulders look much more refined. The actuators have been moved from the hands to the arms, likely to support the new generation of hands Musk keeps talking about, the 22 degrees of freedom hands. This might actually be the long-awaited Optimus Gen 3. The new arms are a complete redesign compared to the old version. The new arms are a complete redesign compared to the old version. Musk had previously mentioned that these arms were a huge engineering challenge. The hands alone take up nearly half of the total mechanical complexity of Optimus. To avoid making the hands massive, Tesla moved almost all the actuators into the forearms. The engineering team also had to design a cable system that mimics human tendons as closely as possible. But now, the big issue is this. Without rare earth magnets, Tesla can't build these robot arms. We will get a license to use the rare earth magnets. Um, China wants some assurances that these are not used for military purposes, which obviously they're not. They're just going into a humanoid robot. So it's not a weapon system. According to Elon Musk, China's still pretty concerned that Tesla might end up building the Optimus robot for unsafe purposes, something that could go down the Terminator path or even be used for military applications. Because of that, they want to make sure their rare earth magnets aren't used in any way that might benefit a defense project. Tesla is currently working with Beijing to get export permits to legally use those rare earth materials. This all ties into China's broader strategy. They've been restricting rare earth exports as part of their response to U.S. tariffs. That's tightened the supply of key minerals used in everything from weapons to electronics to everyday consumer products. As for Optimus itself, we still see it as an incredibly valuable product, even if Tesla can't quite stick to the original $20,000 price tag. Honestly, the long-term benefits and potential returns far outweigh the upfront cost. Let's be real. Before Optimus showed up, humanoid robots were kind of a joke. People thought they were a waste of time and money, with zero real-world use. Most of them just looked like clunky piles of moving metal. Some even joked their awkward walk made them look like Biden. But that changed. When Tesla debuted their first humanoid robot back in 2022, it got people talking. But it wasn't until 2023 that things really took off. 
the second-gen Optimus felt like a massive leap forward. It didn't look like anything else out there. It didn't have eyes or a mouth or a face like a mecha does, but its brain and internal systems acted like real human senses. Yeah, you'll be able to customize the personality, customize the voice, um, and, and really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. Optimus can scan its surroundings, hold conversations, and respond to commands or questions from users. According to Elon Musk, building Optimus isn't just a project for Tesla, it's a mission. For the company, it represents a product with trillion-dollar revenue potential. For customers, it's a game-changer, a machine that can take on boring, repetitive, or even dangerous tasks, basically, the jobs no one wants to do. That's why we say even if the price ends up being more than $20,000, Optimus is still absolutely worth the investment. Think about it. According to data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, hiring a full-time employee in the U.S. typically costs between $35,000 and $50,000 a year. And that's just base pay. Once you factor in things like health insurance, training, benefits, payroll taxes, and paid time off, the total cost per employee can easily exceed $60,000 annually. Now, compare that to Optimus. For around $40,000, you could have a robot working in your business. No sick days, no insurance, no strikes, and it maintains consistent performance and accuracy. Tesla estimates one Optimus could handle the workload of two or even three full-time employees across a variety of industries. Over a projected 10-year lifespan, that initial investment pays for itself many times over. It slashes operating costs and boosts productivity. In the long run, this isn't just a smart business decision. It could be a revolutionary competitive advantage. In retail, Optimus could stock shelves, clean, and even help at checkout. In the service industry, it could act as a 24-7 server. No complaints, no errors, no downtime. That doesn't just improve the customer experience. It could save businesses tens of thousands of dollars every year in labor costs. In agriculture, Optimus is a game changer. It can water crops, harvest produce, inspect equipment, and even care for livestock, all with incredible precision and consistency. It dramatically reduces errors while maximizing productivity. What's more impressive? Optimus can navigate rough, uneven terrain and steep slopes, something you rarely see in today's agricultural robots. And here's the real surprise. Tesla. Optimus isn't just for businesses. In a household setting, it can handle almost everything. Cleaning, laundry, dishes, pet care, even helping your kids with homework. Instead of spending $200 to $500 a month on a housekeeper, which adds up to $2,400 to $6,000 a year, you could make a one-time investment in Optimus. You'd get a reliable assistant who doesn't need sick days, holidays, or breaks, and never complains. Think about it. You can buy a Tesla Model 3 for over $40,000, but most of the time it's in parking lot. A $40,000 Tesla robot, on the other hand, could be working in your home 8 to 10 hours a day. By the time you walk in the door, all your assigned tasks are already done. In fact, the value of the work Optimus performs could pay for itself, and potentially even fund a Tesla EV within just a couple of years, if used wisely. At the heart of the Optimus Gen 3 is Tesla's powerful 4680 battery cell, a high-capacity, cutting-edge battery that keeps the robot running up to 10 hours on a single charge. It's no exaggeration to say that Optimus might just be the answer to global labor shortages, rising wages, and the growing demand for automation across nearly every major industry. This is exactly why millions of people are eagerly waiting for Tesla to release Optimus, because frankly, they're burned out and fed up with household chores. That said, we'll still have to wait until the end of next year before Tesla officially makes it available to the public. While the wait might feel long, it gives Tesla time to fine-tune the robot, add more features, and ensure it performs reliably at scale. Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla still plans to roll out Optimus internally at its own factories later this year. It's a strategic move. Not only will it help cut production costs, but it'll also allow Tesla to refine the tech and collect the data it needs before launching Optimus to the broader market. However, the first customers won't be everyday consumers. Tesla plans to prioritize big corporations. Think Amazon, FedEx, or large-scale manufacturers. Why? 
because these companies have high automation needs and the financial resources to invest in next-gen technology, like Optimus. As mentioned earlier, the price could land around $40,000 or even higher, especially if Tesla continues to face rare earth magnet supply issues. That makes large enterprises the ideal first adopters. Partnering with major corporations also gives Tesla a fast track to building product credibility. Just like they did with the Tesla Semi, targeting large commercial clients first means faster data collection, quicker iterations, and a stable revenue stream to support development. One of Optimus's standout features is its ability to receive over-the-air software updates to improve performance over time. Unlike the free updates Tesla EVs typically get, upgrades for Optimus may come with a small fee, and that actually makes a lot of sense. These updates won't just fix bugs, they'll unlock brand new capabilities, handling more complex tasks, faster processing, and better agility. For example, with one software update, Optimus might go from being able to cook 10 meals to preparing 30, or it could significantly boost its precision in manufacturing tasks. For a reasonable price, users can tap into Optimus's full potential without needing to buy a more expensive model. As exciting as owning a humanoid robot sounds, Tesla won't be letting just anyone use Optimus however they want. Every robot's activity will be logged and monitored through Tesla's system. Misuse it, and you could be looking at a recall or even legal action. These terms will be clearly spelled out in the purchase agreement, and that's by design. Safety is everything when it comes to AI-powered machines. Tesla is putting guardrails in place to make sure this tech isn't abused or turned into something harmful. Optimus is powerful, but it's built with responsibility in mind. Additionally, Tesla could implement a regular maintenance policy that requires users to have their robots repaired at official service centers. This would ensure that Optimus is always in optimal operating condition, minimizing the risk of technical errors that could lead to serious consequences. In addition to direct sales, Tesla also plans to introduce a robot leasing program for Optimus in the future. However, this will only be feasible once Tesla achieves stability in production and ensures that its inventory levels are sufficient to meet demand. The expected monthly rental cost is anticipated to range from $300 to $600, a reasonable price considering the value that Optimus brings. Leasing Optimus would not only help Tesla reach a broader customer base, but also open up opportunities for small businesses or individuals to experience advanced technology without the need for a large initial investment. What do you think if Tesla rents out Optimus for $300 per month? Drop your views below. As we know, analysts say that the export ban includes not only mined minerals, but also magnets and other finished products that are difficult to replace. Exporters are now required to apply for a permit from the Department of Commerce, a process that is relatively opaque and can take anywhere from six or seven weeks to several months. While Tesla EVs are revolutionizing the driving experience, the Tesla bot has even greater potential as it could fundamentally change human life. Elon Musk places high expectations on Optimus Gen 3, considering it Tesla's most important product, with the potential to increase the company's value to $25 trillion. To bring this vision to life, Tesla plans to produce 1 million Optimus robots, a number that, according to Elon Musk, could be achieved by 2029 or 2030. In the early stages, Optimus's capabilities are limited by the need to collect and process data in order to expand its functions. This process mirrors human learning. The more experience and practice, the higher the skill level. Tesla's strategy includes remotely controlling Optimus during its training phase. By performing household and factory tasks under human supervision, the robot collects valuable data, paving the way for autonomous operations. Although Optimus has the potential to assist humans with many valuable tasks, it still faces skepticism as Elon Musk continuously highlights the challenges it encounters. Musk has even acknowledged that Optimus may experience some glitches during its initial launch. We believe Optimus might face issues such as inaccurate object recognition, for example, when distinguishing between a water bottle and a flower vase, objects with similar shapes. Additionally, delays in voice or movement responses could occur, especially in noisy environments or those with many distractions. Optimus may also struggle when moving on uneven surfaces or could suddenly lose balance after an unexpected collision. 
A simple example could be when the robot moves across a thick carpet or encounters an obstacle like a pet, the risk of falling is real. Furthermore, bugs related to misinterpreting voice commands, such as when the user's speech is unclear, might happen during use. Optimus also relies on an internet connection, so sometimes an unstable network connection could prevent the robot from syncing its data in time, causing disruptions in its task execution. However, it's important to understand that Tesla's Optimus bot is still in its early development stages. Tesla is a company focused on electric vehicles, not a traditional robot manufacturer. But remember, the first Tesla electric vehicles were also met with skepticism and encountered many initial flaws. Yet they quickly improved over time, and we're confident that Optimus will be significantly refined with each update. Although so far there haven't been many humanoid robot companies with the potential to surpass Tesla, this does not mean that Tesla is leading the race. Tesla is facing increasingly fierce competition from humanoid robot companies in China, such as Unitry Robotics and Agai Bot. Some analysts believe that China's control over rare earth magnet exports could give domestic companies an advantage over American competitors like Tesla by limiting the supply of critical components to rivals. From our perspective, the issue of rare earth magnet supply is a clear example of the complexity and risks in the global supply chain, especially amid rising geopolitical tensions, which directly impact the production plans and technological ambitions of major corporations like Tesla. Elon Musk remains optimistic that Tesla is leading the race, but he also expressed concerns that in the future, the humanoid robot rankings will be flooded with names from China. However, Musk is confident that Tesla will eventually overcome all barriers to achieve a large number of optimists this year, and Elon asserts that Tesla bot will be the most sophisticated humanoid robot in the world. What do you think about the difficulties of Tesla bot? Will it surpass the humanoid robots from China? That's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoy this video. Goodbye, and see you again.